Okay, so the first step we're going to do now is we're going to make up the different concentrations of phosphate. The phosphate that we know the concentration of. We made this not long ago. So this is 10 milligrams per litre. So the first one that we're going to make is going to be purely just this stuff. So we're going to get 10 milligrams per litre. So to do that, I am going to pour, as accurately as I can, 20 mils of this. So here we go, 20 mils. Uh, a little bit short, which is what I wanted. And I'm going to now just get the last little bits out. So there's a dropping pipette to get me right where I want to get to. And I'm going to see if I can get my head down right low so that I can see the meniscus. 20 mil. One more little squirt and we'll be there. Perfect. Okay, so this first one is going to be our 10 milligrams per litre of phosphate solution. And that's going to go into here. Now I've already labelled that one. 10 milligrams per litre goes into there as is. For the next one, I want to dilute this down to get it to 7.5 milligrams per litre. So this time, instead of getting 20 mils of this stuff, I'm only going to get 15 mils. So once again, I'm going to pour in here, just short of 15, there you go, just short of 15, and I'm going to get it as close as humanly possible to 15 with my dropping pipette. I didn't get any that time. One more drop, I reckon. So this hasn't got 20 mils like the first one did. This has only got 15 mils. So I'm going to put 15 milliliters into here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it up to the 20 mark by putting in five mils of pure distilled water. So once again, I'm just going to pour it in. I'm going to get close to the five mark. And then get it back on here. Okay, perfect. So this one is 10 milligrams per litre. This one is dilute a bit because I've put 15 mils and 5 mils. What I'm now going to do and I'll stop the video. But what I'm now going to do is make one which is five mils. So that's going to be 10 mils of this and 10 mils of that. The next one down is going to be five mils of this and it's going to be 15 mils of that. And the final one, which is zero, is just going to be pure water. And the idea is they're all going to have the same volume, but they're all going to have different concentrations. What we have to do then, and I'll show you that bit, is we're going to get our molybdate. And I need to add two mils of molybdate into each of these beakers. So once again, I'll just try and pour a little bit into here. Little bit into there, so I'm aiming for just under the two mil mark. And there you go. So two milliliters date is going to go into each of these once they're made. Molybdate. And a little bit, the amount doesn't matter, a little bit of ascorbic acid just to get the ball rolling into each of these. And once I've got the same amount of molybdate and ascorbic acid in each of these different standards, each of these different standards. I'm going to pop them in to some warm water. And I'm going to leave them for about 10 minutes. And hopefully when we come back, I'll have all of them in there. They'll have been heated for about 10 minutes. And hopefully we'll see some blue colour. 
Okay, welcome back. So what we've been doing in the break is we have uh, heated these. So this is our zero milligrams per litre and there's not really much blue at all. There's no blue at all. Uh, this is our 2.5 milligrams per litre. You might be able to see a slight blueness there and then the blue is much more obvious to see and hopefully, if it's all worked perfectly, then we're going to get more blue as we get more phosphates. So just visually, hopefully we can see that the blueness is increasing with the level of phosphates and that's what it was supposed to do. The molybdate has reacted and brought the phosphates out. We're now gonna test them with this colorimeter. Now the colorimeter is set up to my laptop, it's a wireless device. And what we do is we put a little container, a curvette, and that curvette we're gonna fill up with each of these things, pop them in there, and I'm gonna read off the absorbance. And remember, we're shining a light in to see how much is absorbed by this blue color. Let's have a go. So we normally start off with the one which is the lowest concentration. So in this case, it's the zero. So I'll try and fill that up as best I can. Make another squirt. That's probably enough there. Yeah, why not a little bit more? So if I put this in here, let's see what our colorimeter says. Pop it in. Put the lid on, press start, and we are getting a number that I'll write down on the board for you. And the number, the absorbance we're getting here is 0 0.007. 0 0.007. Fantastic. All right, and we're just going to do that with each of the rest of them. So that's our zero, and hopefully these numbers are going to get bigger each time. So let's try the next one. We are going to try 2.5. More blue than the first one, so we're hoping more of the light is absorbed. Did anyone see me drop that? And that? What is wrong with me? There we go. Sometimes science doesn't work. Okay. that time. Perfect. Okay, let's see what the colorimeter says this time. Pop it in, quick, shut the lid, and we've got a different number this time. It's a bigger number, so that's a great sign, and it's 0 0.118. 0.118. Okay. I'm going to do this for each of them. This time we're up to the 5.0. 5.0. Let's see what we can get in the way of absorbance. Much bluer this time. We might see a big jump this time actually. Really see the blue coming out here at the at this level. I just do one more little squirt here just to fill her up. So it's about the same each time. Didn't really get any that time. There you go. Pop that one in. Clip it down. Shut it. Much bigger number is what we're after, 0 0.313, 0 0.313 is the absorbance on that one, next one is the 7.5, once again blur again, hopefully we're going to see that it's got a higher absorbance, so we're looking for a number bigger than 0 0.3. In with the drop in. Ah. <sighs> 
one more squirt from getting there. Brilliant. Put it in the machine, put it down. Let's see what the absorbance is this time. It's bigger than the last one. Not as big a jump as I thought it would be. Eight, nine, it looked a lot lower, but it is what it is. And the final one, 10 milligrams per litre, should be the darkest of the blues, should be the biggest number we get in the absorbance. One more squirt and put that in there. So that hopefully is the darkest of the blues. Let's see what we get. Hoping for the biggest number. Oh, it's a massive jump. It's a huge jump. Okay, 0 0.660. Um, I don't know about you guys, but that's making me worry about this one here. I might just redo that one. So 7.5, give it another whirl. If I get the same number, so be it. But I just feel like it's just a big jump from there to there. So no point in worrying. Let's retest it. 7.5. Second time round. If I get the same number, well, that's the number I'm going to get. One more squirt, if I can get some more stuff out here. Get a little bit out. There you go. All right, let's just, just for clarity, let's test the 7.5 again. I'm only doing it because I'm just looking at that number and this looks a bit lower than I would have expected. Testing it again and I've got the exact same. Oh, no, it's flicked up to be slightly bigger. No, it's flicked back down. Tested it twice, exact same number twice, therefore we're gonna live with those numbers. Your job now is to make your calibration curve. So you have got concentrations and you have got absorbances. I need you to draw a graph, plot these points, and do a line or a curve of best fit. When we return, we're gonna test our water samples to see where they would fit on this scale. Alright guys, good luck. See you soon.